Science is the basis of the world's technological progress that characterizes our civilization. During the last decades, our society has witnessed the birth of new technologies such as biotech and nanotechnology, information technologies, whilst confronted by challenges such as climate change, loss of biodiversity, and the crisis of the energy model. Society has become more and more aware of the new opportunities and risks. I think we live in societies that are thoroughly built on science and technology, and there is no way that we can govern our societies without understanding the science and technology. So we can't do without such advice, I would say. Technology is very important nowadays in our society, but can have big risks. Uh, risk that uh, not only concerning our generations but also future generations. So it is uh, very important for a policymaker to know what risks do we decide now and what are the impacts for the future and the future generations. Parliaments, as the political representative of citizens, need the most neutral and accurate information to facilitate objective and legitimate decision making. Parliament's the supreme debating body. Perhaps the most important uh, function is, of course, they are a check on government. And it's true that parliaments around the world uh, have seen increasingly the need for an independent information and analysis source to enable them to improve their operation about the way forward, about the best way to spend money. Well, there are so many issues that come before Congress or come before um, parliaments that we don't have the opportunity to study in depth. And so certainly having some good scientific background, uh, which is not always the background of members of Congress or parliamentarians, uh, is very helpful in trying to make uh, decisions. It's like a referee who in, in football still doesn't rely very much on, on sort of on photographic equipment, on computer simulation, but it will, it will have in order to judge properly. So a uh, referee will always be there, he will make decisions, so parliamentarians will be there, but they need this advice, they need solid ground so that they do not rely on hearsay, on conspiracy theories, on rumors when they make decisions on which the welfare and um, you know, livelihoods of, of millions depends. Technology Assessment, TA, is the answer to that need. TA is the attempt to understand and anticipate the consequences of the application of technologies in economic society and in the wider context of a global market. And of course it cannot predict the future, but it can help us to orient ourselves and at least to understand the complexities and ambiguities that accompany the development of technology in this way. Technology assessments do one principal thing, and that is actually make politicians aware of the technologies, of the science, and in fact communicate it to them in a format that is understandable. If you have technology assessment organisations or institutes in different parliaments, they actually share their experiences. Europe is relatively small, but to have that organisation at your disposal and to be able to share that information means that TA is absolutely crucial for good parliamentary democracy. Long-term sustainability will be very, very important. And as a part of that, we already know that we have big challenges for keeping our welfare and in all under these circumstances, so, and which will take new technology, new innovation. So that's something TA deals with, uh, trying to take these complex matters and making a constructive uh, dialogue about them. Parliaments and Civil Society in Technology Assessment, PASITA, is a four-year European finance project aiming at increasing the capacity and enhancing the institutional foundation for knowledge-based policy making on issues involving science, technology and innovation. There is a huge need to have a discussion between three types of actors. That is the scientific world, politicians and the society. And to organize a discussion between these three actors is a huge but very necessary task where technology assessment can play a fundamental role to include society and civilians within the discussion of how technology and how science can be developed. 
that citizens' participation can contribute knowledge, can help to create a better base for policy making. And when citizens have participated, um, they will better understand why certain choices have been made um, and, and then policies will land uh, more safely uh, and more accepted um, in a country. Hasseter's 15 partners will document, train and debate technology assessment and carry out three cross-European projects on key issues such as public health genomics, ageing society and sustainable consumption. To start a mutual learning process, in 2011, Passata described the practices and institutions dedicated to parliamentary technology assessment. Partners without such organisations in their respective countries travelled to countries where this was in practice, established contact with, visited and did interviews with politicians, scientists, citizens and other stakeholders. The information obtained will be included in the book, Technology Assessment in Europe. For the next three years, Passata will develop training programmes for users of technology assessment and for potential professional practitioners, like summer schools and practitioners meetings. Create a portal specialising in technology assessment, giving access to resources and professional support, and publish a magazine, Volta, Science and Technology in Europe. Passata also organised national workshops in 2012, and for the coming years, will hold comparative workshops parliamentary debates and European conferences with the aim of mobilising actors on establishing and institutionalising TA throughout Europe and create awareness of its benefits. As parliamentarians we can make better decisions. Uh, we are able to avoid the mistakes of the past and so we are more informed and better prepared to take decisions which meet the interests of the next generations. Now that we are facing a brutal crisis, economical crisis, all Europe, this kind of unit that advise the politicians can also bring economical value. I mean, we can save money, apply our money in a better way uh, after a good advice on these matters. A very important role for parliamentary GA is simply to set the scene, to analyze, to give information, to also give uh, situations where you can have a good dialogue so that decision makers can learn from the dialogue, from the information, from the analysis, and from there they can take their decisions on a better ground.